Thank you. My name is Betty from LA Sentinel. Hello. Hi, Mike. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for focusing your lens on LA Sentinel. I really do appreciate it. And on a personal note, loved you and Luke Cage. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you did great. Um, let's talk about this new season and on Paramount Plus mm -hmm. people um, and kind of the aspect behind the whole scenario. So from what I gather, um, it's kind of like playing facts, fact or fiction um, with these unexplained mysteries within this um, or ordination and, and, and you're going through it as David Acosta. So talk about the script. How did you feel about the writing? Uh, the writing is very um, complex and layered. I mean, it's it's um, we deal very we we deal with the I guess the fact or fiction case of the week kind of thing rarely. Um, this the scripts seem to focus on the characters and uh, how we interact with each other and what and what our relationships are and what's going on in our personal lives more so than uh, than what we're tackling in terms of like how to create um, how to how to save the world or how to deal with these demons or anything like that. Um, I, it's, it's always been very difficult to sort of explain the show to people because when you listen to a show and you think of a show called Evil and you and you and you think that there's a procedural element to it, you sort of try to figure out well, well what does that mean? It's it's complete misdirect. I mean, we we honestly are much more of a, a drama and with a, with this a hint of of, of horror and much more um, psychological thriller than anything else. And so every character is fully formed and really deals with much much more lofty. Um, uh, uh ideas than just what how do we solve the case because a lot of times we don't really solve anything i think i think we're constantly trying to but but the, the more interesting stuff happens um that don't involve the case at all absolutely so it sounds like the case is kind of a common place where all the characters um are kind of focused on but as you go through the case you realize the layers within the development of the character and what they actually like they're personal demons right yeah Okay, so let's talk about your character, David Acosta. Um, your character is evolving into obviously transitioning in, in his ordination. What are some of the struggles that he has to face is gonna kind of evolve him within this season? Well, he's gotta realize that uh, being a priest isn't all this crack up to be, you know, I think being being inside of something rather than the outside. People warn you about marriage, people warn you about what it is to have kids. And you don't know until you do it. So, you know, people can tell you to the blue in the face, but until you actually are doing it, it's not going to be real to you. And I think he's sort of realizing that there's a certain finality to the priesthood that um, while it is some is fulfilling, it can be a bit mundane at times. And now he's sort of looking for purpose. You know, what do I do to give myself the feeling that I had when I was achieving, trying to achieve this goal? Now that I'm, I, I wanted to be a priest, now that I'm a priest, now that that goal has been achieved, what is my next goal? I think we all have to set goals for ourselves in life. And so we always have to find another challenge. And now being inside of the, of the being a priest, it's like, well, what else is there? And I, and I think they've done a great job with answering that because his purpose with the entity and trying to figure out how does do the demonic houses all connect? What does the Catholic um, religion have to do with it? What does the, the Vatican have to do with all of this stuff? And also this, this emotional you know, uh, you know, roller coaster ride that he's on with Kristen and what it really means to be in love with someone. How how does that play into your your workspace? And then also this entity that that is not Kristen that he's sort of having relations with that you don't even know what that is, but but it's going to be unfolded as the season progresses. And I think it's going to be interesting for everybody. We'll have our cake and eat it too. I think we'll have ability to to see people do things that we want to see them do, but at the same time, we'll keep the the relationship intact. And we'll allow people to still appreciate David and still respect him. But at the same time, we're going to see a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I'm getting a vibe that basically it's kind of pushing forward with trying to be a good person, right? What does that actually mean? So he, David, is learning what it actually means to be a priest, what it actually means to be in love. And you're doing a great job portraying that. Thank you so much, Mike. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too.